In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house in two straight lines at half past nine, in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. One day, Miss Clavel let it be known it was time for checkups with Dr. Cohn. After they took off their coats in two straight lines, he checked their throats. Say ah. 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 Bien, that is good. He checked each ear. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. He checked each nose. <laughs> he checked their fingers and their toes. Uh -huh. Aha! And now I will check your reflexes. Just a little tap, like so. Oh. <laughs> Bien, that is good. Now, let us see how much you weigh. Hmm. Fine, fine, Nicole. He weighed the girls. They were all right. And then the doctor checked their height. Aha! Très bien, Sylvie. You have grown two inches. Two inches? That tall? Excellent, Yvette. You've grown an inch. That's completely average. Mm. You mean I'm just average? My turn. One half inch, Madeline. That's fine. But I only grew one half inch. My friends grew much more. I am so shocked. Though she was healthy overall, Madeline wished that she were tall. It is not a competition, Madeline. Everyone grows at a different rate. Sylvie is tall. Too tall. The rest of you are average. Average is boring. But you are all perfectly normal. But if you want to help yourself grow, get plenty of sleep, Drink milk, eat fresh vegetables, and get lots of fresh air. Sleep, milk, vegetables, fresh air, I will do it! After bidding Dr. Cohn adieu, Madeline knew what she must do. Fresh air! All right, Madeline? Are you having trouble breathing? No, Miss Clavel. I am just enjoying the fresh air. Oh, ah. that is nice. I believe I've grown taller already. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> she was not successful, though, trying to walk tippy-toe. <laughs> We were just admiring your new chapeau. What a hat! Ah! Salad, Madeleine? Merci, Miss Clavel. The other girls soon saw a change. Madeleine was acting strange. At meals. <gasps> in class. <laughs> even at night. Clearly, something was not right. We seem to be drinking more milk every day. Can you bring more this afternoon? What? Uh, we? Oui, but, but are you sure? We. Oui.
How about a nice cream cone, mes petits? Yay! Chocolate, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Vanilla, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Broccoli, s'il vous plaît. Madeleine! A week or so went by, and then Madeline measured herself again. Though she was feeling very fit, she had not grown a single bit. Oh no, I am just the same height as before. I am too shocked. Bonjour, Madeline. Will you measure me, s'il te plaît? I cannot believe it. I grew another quarter inch in two weeks. I am too tall. As the other girls kept growing taller, Madeline was feeling smaller. Good night, little girls. Bonne nuit, les Later on, at the end of the day, Madeline dreamed she had floated away. Suddenly, the sky was bright. Is it daytime already? And Madeline saw a ghastly sight. <gasps> Yellow girl! I cannot believe it! And oh, how she was filled with fright! They are huge! Have they gotten taller? Or have I gotten smaller? Or both? Everything is so beautiful from up here. I am glad I am small. But as she began to like the trip, the pigeon took a sudden dip. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Down and down they went. And then... <coughs> she landed in the River Seine. Oh. Would she be saved? That was her wish. <laughs> It soon came true, thanks to a fish. She hung onto the fin up high and landed somewhere that was dry. Then quickly bid the fish goodbye. Thank you for the lift, Monsieur Fish. Madeline hurried down the street, dodging some gigantic feet. <gasps> I made it! I made it home! The sight of home gave her great cheer, but when she knocked, no one could hear. C'est moi! It is Madeline! Let me in! If I could only ring the doorbell. Ah! Uh. She began an uphill climb to try and make the doorbell uh. chime. Heads up, mes petits! 
giant girls marched through the town, never ever looking down. Hello! Look at me, moi! Look down, people play! Their heads were up among the trees. Oh! They picked apples with such ease. Mmm. <laughs> When a parade came marching through, the tall girls had a perfect view. Because she was a smaller size, Madeline could not look in their eyes. I must get them to see me! As she took a ride, quite bumpy, Madeline was feeling grumpy. When the girl saw Madeline at last, she was feeling quite outcast. Madeline, you are so tiny! And you are so tall! <laughs> oh, this is terrible! It is not good to be small! Not good at all! <laughs> not good! Not good! <laughs> Miss Clavel woke up that night and said, <gasps> Something is not right! All the twelve girls were not sleeping. In fact, each one of them was weeping. Oh, no! <laughs> what is the matter, mes petites? Why are you crying? I am crying because I am too short. I am crying because I am too tall. I am crying because I am just average. <laughs> Me too! Oh dear. Girls, girls, you are each just right for who you are. Besides, when you are growing up, you are constantly changing. Please, do not worry. All right, Madeline? <laughs> All right, Miss Clavel. Miss Clavel patted each sleepy head and put the twelve girls back to bed. Day after day, though it was not wise, the girls kept thinking about their size. Rainfall in Glasgow. Average! <laughs> like us! <laughs> what is wrong with being average? Who wants to be just like everyone else? I, I do. do! Why would anyone want that? Hmm. Madeline, tell me, what is 12 inches plus 12 inches? I am sure it is too short. Bien, mes enfants, class is dismissed. What? Oh, oh, why? We are going outside for a walk. The fresh air will clear your heads, I hope. And so they went out for a walk and Miss Clavel began to talk. This is a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, Miss Clavel. Can you not enjoy the beautiful world around you? No, Miss Clavel. <laughs> Just as the girls had gathered round, they heard a sad and woeful sound. What is the matter, little boy? My kite is stuck in the tree, 
and I cannot reach it. A boy had a problem, plain to see. His kite was stuck up in a tree. I think that maybe I can reach it. Sylvie used her tall, tall height, and with ease, she saved the kite. Ah! Voila! Here you are. Oh, merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. For once, I am glad I am tall. But the wind was playing tricks that day. Oh! Oh! Again, it blew the kite away. Get it for you. Oh, oh. Sorry, my hand is too big. I am afraid it would take someone very small to save your kite, little boy. Perhaps you would fit. It is creepy in there. I'm afraid. I am not afraid. My size is just right. I will get the kite. Madeline was very brave. She volunteered to make the save, she disappeared into a cave. I got it! Hooray! Bravo! Three cheers for Madeline! Oh, merci, Madeline! You are the bravest person I know! Oui, but I am still very small. Madeline, the world would be a very dull place if we were all exactly the same. Can you not see that each of you is just right? Look around you, mes enfants. Ah. It's not good to worry and fret about your height. Cause when it comes to sizes, every size Mounts. We are all alike inside, and that's what truly counts. We are all alike inside, and that's what truly counts. So it's not good to worry about amounts. Short, average, tall, one size fits all. And it would be a shame if we were all the same. Short, average, tall, one size fits all. And it would be a shame. not feel so small now, do you, Madeline? No, Miss Clavel. I believe I feel just right. Six months later, time had flown. Once more, they went to Dr. Cohn. Hurry now, mes petites. We do not want to be late for your checkup. He checked each throat, each ear and bone, then checked to see how they had grown. Okay, Sylvie. Let us see how tall you are now. Aha! You have grown one half inch. Oh, that is just right. Yvette, you are exactly the same, which is fine. Now, Madeline. Madeline waited with closed eyes as she heard about her size. 
I must tell you that you have not stayed the same. You have grown one inch. <laughs> and when they went to bed that night, Madeline felt quite all right as Miss Clavel turned out the light. Good night, mes petites. I am glad you are all healthy. She was not worried as before. And that's all there is. There isn't any more.